What's up everyone, this is Ghost X and welcome to the video that tackles a question on many minds. Should you be excited about the return of round-based zombies in Black Ops 6? Keep in mind everything I share here reflects my personal opinion and impressions of COD zombies so far. If you have different take, I'd love to hear your thoughts, be sure to drop them in the comments. Without further ado, let's dive right in. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about the history of Call of Duty Zombies. The first Call of Duty Zombies mode started on November 11th, 2008 with the release of Call of Duty World at War. This mode, known as Nacht der Untoten, Night of the Undead, was initially a bonus game unlocked after completing the campaign. It was a wave-based survival against hordes of zombies, quickly became a fan favorite and spawned a franchise-wide obsession with zombies mode in later titles, especially within the Black Ops series. Treyarch developed the mode somewhat as an experiment, not anticipating its huge popularity. However, the success led to the evolution of zombies as a key feature in subsequent Call of Duty games. Following the success of the original Zombies mode in Call of Duty World at War 2008, Treyarch expanded the Zombies experience across multiple titles, each time adding new elements to deepen gameplay and the storyline. Here is the progression of notable milestones that followed. Call of Duty Black Ops 2010, this one introduced the iconic maps, Kino der Toten in Ascension, the most prominent character was Edward Richtofen. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 2012, this one had the famous transit mode. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in 2015, this one was the most expansive zombies experience to date with the new maps like Shadows of Evil. It featured extensive easter eggs and continued Dark Aether storyline, becoming a fan favorite title in the zombies community. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 2018, this is when Treyarch experimented by removing the traditional single player campaign and putting greater emphasis on multiplayer and zombies. It included the Aether story and the new Chaos story. And finally, Call of Duty Cold War that had mostly round based, small confined maps and large maps like the Outbreak. As you've likely noticed, Call of Duty Zombies has traditionally revolved around small round based maps with the only major departure being Outbreak in Cold War, until the release of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, which we covered in a previous video. For years, players have grown accustomed to the structure of round-based gameplay, mastering its mechanics and falling in love with its rhythm. Titles like Black Ops 3 and Cold War solidified this format, leaving fans eager for similar modes but with fresh stories and smart tweaks. Despite the popularity of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, it shifted the focus from traditional zombie maps to an open-world experience, deviating from the familiar round-based formula. This change caused some players to lose faith in the Zombies mode, viewing Modern Warfare Zombies as a departure from what made Zombies so special in the first place. Don't get me wrong, since its release on November 10th, 2023, I've played Modern Warfare 3 Zombies almost every day and I'm a huge fan. But in my opinion, nothing compares to the nostalgic thrill of classic round-based zombies, and I believe Black Ops 6 will rekindle that passion with its return to the format we all know and love. Another reason I'm excited for Black Ops 6 Zombies is the continuation of the storyline introduced in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Even if I were only a fan of open-world zombies, the story connection alone would spark my excitement to witness how events evolve. The final scene of Modern Warfare Z, where Dr. Jansen is pulled into the Dark Aether, offers a direct link to the upcoming game. What makes this even more compelling is that the incident takes place in Liberty Falls, one of the maps that are available at launch of Black Ops 6. This seamless narrative continuation ensures the new game will feel like a true evolution of what Modern Warfare Zombies started. What else should I be excited for? Maybe you asking yourself that question. Black Ops 6 Zombies is packed with exciting new features and improvements, many of which have been highlighted during the advertising campaign and showcased at COD Next events. I'll touch on some of the key highlights briefly, but if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Before diving deeper into the details of Black Ops 6, I want to address a debate surrounding the Liberty Falls map. From the moment it was revealed at COD Next for attendees to experience, it was clear that what we saw wasn't the final product. As expected, the version displayed had some rough edges. It was evident we were witnessing a work in progress, and I refrained from passing judgment, holding out for updates from Treyarch. 
Just a few days ago, my expectations were confirmed when Treyarch announced that several adjustments have been made, including improvements to graphics, color palettes, HUD elements, and more. Liberty Falls was still evolving when we saw it in August, and it's reassuring to know that the team has been actively refining it since then. Here is a quick rundown of all confirmed major new features of Black Ops 6 Zombies. Augment system to advance the skill system instead of crystals. Gobble gums can be saved if not used. Progression level carries between multiplayer and zombies. Mangler's gun can be picked and used as a special weapon. Beam Smasher is a new wonder weapon. Mutant injection to become a mangler for a limited time. Third person continues to be available. Zombies now have a unique weapon build system. Door buys can be shared. Salvage is one type only and there are player specific. Reaching 100 rounds should be way harder than before. Only three self revives can be crafted during one game. Pack a punch machine can be turned off before game to keep camo in game. Pack machine doesn't have a menu anymore. Joining your friend game anytime even after server disconnection. Save the game is only for solo games. If you disconnect, the game will be saved automatically. New perk, Melee Macchiato. New ammo mod, Shadow Rift. New field upgrade, Dark Flare upgrade. New form of door traps. Terminus Island has the most amount of side quests ever created in a zombies map. The main easter egg is way harder than before like Cold War Zombies. Guided mode of the main quest will be released weeks if not months after launch. Finishing the easter eggs does not end the game. You can still go around and kill zombies. And finally we have the jet gun which is back. And that's it guys, I just wanted to share with you briefly why am I excited for Black Ops 6 Zombies. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you found this video entertaining and informative, hit that like button and subscribe to show us your support. In a nutshell, I'm excited for Black Ops 6 Zombies. Are you? Cheers and have a good one.